Hi, right, it's time for another math easy solution. Time to discuss further into improper integrals and now go over example four of the example video series and solve this example which states for what values of p is the following integral convergent and that's this one integral from one to infinity of one divided by x to the power of p dx. Now from my earlier video uh, in example one, so from example one, I already went over where the case where p equals to one. So basically I showed in that video, integral from one infinity of one over x dx, it, it, this basically, uh, this diverges and you do not get an answer. So it just goes to infinity, so it does not converge. So when you can see that video in the video link below in, in the description, I don't wanna cover that again because I already solved that. So for, so we'll consider in this case for p is not equal to one because we know it diverges. Let's write that part. Yeah, and like I showed in my earlier video, you could write this uh, improper integral where it's an infinite uh, interval from one to infinity of let's say one x p dx, you could write this as a limit. So a limit as t approaches to infinity, and this is gonna be integral from one to t of one over x, so I'll, I'll write this a bit better, x to the power of negative p. This is just easier to apply the uh, integral of this, so it's the same thing. One over x is just flip, flip it and put a negative on the power. So we have that, and if we evaluate this, we get limit t approaches infinity. This is just a power function, an integral of a power function. We just go xp, we add one, and then we divide by whatever this part was, so negative p plus one. And now we're integrating it from one to t. And you see the video uh, of how to, of the proof for this integral, the video link below, as well on power functions. So now that we have this, yeah, we can just continue evaluating this. So I'm just gonna make it easier, I'm gonna make it a bit simplified and take this negative p plus one out because it doesn't get affected when you evaluate it because there's a t, it's only the x is the only thing that you're changing. So what we're doing is limit t approaches infinity, just simplify this and then move this around so one minus p. So we'll have one minus p and then when we plug in the t inside, so we have t, and then t to the power of, well again, one minus p. Just move those around. Minus now, we add the one there, so one, one minus p. So now that we have this part here, and any, this one, one to the power of anything is just, well, it's just equal to one. So that's just one. So now what we end up having is, let's go limit as t approaches infinity of one minus p. And then we have right here, this one I'm gonna put this at the bottom just to make it easier, so put a negative there. So what we're gonna have is one over t, p minus one. So you could always flip uh, flip any any number like this up and down just by f changing, adding a negative to the power. And then minus here, that's just one. So now that we have it like this, we can begin uh, trying to see what values of p the, this limit converges or diverges. So let's consider where, okay, so let's consider if P is greater than uh, greater than one. So if it's greater than one, because we know that at, at equals to one, it's divergent. So if it's greater than one, what we have right here, well, P minus one. So if this is that, then what we have is P minus one is greater than uh, zero. So p minus one, any any number bigger than one, subtract by one, it's still going to be greater than zero. So this means that uh, as t approaches infinity, what we have is t to the power of uh, p minus one, which is again, this is a greater than zero, this part. So as this goes to infinity, then this approaches infinity as well. So if that approaches infinity, then what we have is, let's put it here, then one over t minus, uh, t to the power of p minus one. This approaches well, one over infinity, or this is dividing a large number, that's just equal to zero. So what that means is, yeah, what that means is if p is greater than equal to, uh, just greater than one, then what we have is, well, this is convergent. This, we actually have a number and it's not going to infinity. So thus the integral from one to infinity of one over x, power of p dx, this equals to what we have 
is 1 minus p because we know this limit. So it would be one, 1 divided by 1 minus p. And then this part here goes to 0 for p is greater than 1. So we have 0 and then minus 1 there. And this just equals to, well, negative, and just put this out. So this is negative um, 1 over 1 minus p. And, and, and add the negative inside, just flip these around. This equals 2, 1 over p minus 1. And this is, again, for uh, p is greater than 1. So this is convergent. So it, it, it's convergent for uh, p is greater than or equal to 1. But now let's consider when p is less than 1. So if, um, let's go, if p is less than 1, then what we have is, is if you go back here, so this is a, it's a p minus 1. So that means p minus 1 is going to be, well, if it's less than 1, subtracting by 1, it's always going to be, well, less than 0. So it's always a negative there. So what that means is if you f yeah, flip this, yeah, if this is negative, then, well, uh, the other way around, 1 minus p, now we're just becoming greater than 0. And the reason I'm doing that is now we have, uh, if we have the function, let's go with 1, 1 over, yeah, 1 over t to the p minus 1. This is the same thing as writing it as, uh, let's put this like that, same thing as writing as, just flip this around, t to the power of, 1 minus p. So now this, this is greater than uh, 0 for this case. So what we have is this approaches, well, infinity as t approaches infinity. Because now we're not dealing with this 1 divided by infinity. Now we're just dealing with uh, this infinity like that. So that this means is this diverges. Because now we're dealing with an infinite uh, number and then minus one, whatever, it's, it's still gonna be infinite. So this diverges. So in summary, what we have is basically the integral from, yeah, from one to infinity of one over x to the p dx is, is basically equal to one over p minus one. Uh, this is, uh, i.e. this is converges this is for yeah this is for uh, p is greater than 1 but it diverges for and this is where p is less than or equal to 1 so because I already showed in my earlier video so make sure to watch that video to see why when p is equal to 1 that it also diverges so and then this is basically the answer to the question and that's the summary of it anyway that's all for today if you learned from this pretty useful video you have to show basically how uh, this this function 1 over x to the power of p uh, diverges or converges depending on the value of p and basically what it sh is saying is that the larger the number of p it it converges faster to yeah to the number zero if you were to graph it it looks something like this yeah, this function looks something like this. Uh, this is 1 over xp for p is greater than 1. And this just converges faster and faster to the 0 there. I'm just going to erase this now. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you'll learn, like always, to download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.